Thanks for tuning in to Cowkind TV. I'm James Preston and in breaking news, the TGA or Therapeutic Goods Administration has given the green light to the Novavax vaccine. Whilst Novavax will still require final approval from the Australian Technical Advisory Group or ATAGI, the government has ordered 51 million doses of Novavax. Head of the TGA, John Skerritt, said Novavax had been approved as a two-dose vaccine for the primary course of vaccination, with the doses to be three weeks apart. Novavax is a more traditional protein-based vaccine that does not incorporate messenger RNA. mRNA technology has been a sticking point for many vaccine-hesitant people who are concerned about the long-term data and efficacy surrounding COVID injections created by the likes of Pfizer. Skerritt believed that the announcement of Novavax's availability would help further increase vaccine uptake. He said, I know there is interest in the potential for Novavax being used as a booster or even an adolescent paediatric dose, as we have with all vaccines. As soon as we get the data, we will review it as an absolute top priority. He also added that he had received emails from thousands of individuals and groups who have continuously asked about the availability of the Novavax vaccine over the past year. Preliminary Phase 3 results indicate that side effects following administration of the Novavax COVID-19 vaccine have been generally mild to moderate and short-lived. Injection site pain and tenderness as well as fatigue, headache and muscle pain were the most commonly reported side effects. The incidence of serious adverse events was low and reported in similar numbers in both the vaccine arm and the placebo groups. We'll have more information as the story unfolds. In the meantime, please make sure to subscribe to Kaokai Media to stay across all the latest information and breaking news from the world of finance, crypto and politics. I'm James Preston reporting for Kaokai.